first of all, we continue to pay a lot of money to the U.S. government as part of the tariff and as part of the business, right? And most customers don't like tariff. They want, there's, they, want, they want there to be zero tariff. But the fact that we have to pay certain percentage, sometimes a lot of money, um, it's just cost of doing business. For us, it's not an option we can choose or not. It's a way for us to make sure even with additional money the customer have to pay, we need to guarantee they still have the unique combination of the best performing, best quality, and the most price competitive product on the market. And we believe we continue to be that case. And that's why we were able to maintain a vast majority of our customers, even though when there is fluctuant and significant tariff that we are being applied to. How are your North American clients reacting? Are they more hesitant towards Chinese companies? I don't think it helps for sure, right? That's like an elephant in the room. Unfortunately, when there is a tariff, it's not only the additional cost the customers have to absorb, it's also, let's face it, it's the uncertainty people don't like. Uh, for us, again, we're not going to be able to eliminate the uncertainty. What we could do is first, we try to make sure we stay competitive on the price and on definitely the unmatched performance we provide to the customer and the service. And on top of that, we also understand when people have concerns, we have to come up with solutions. So we publicly announced that we will be, we're actually in the process of building a factory retrofitted one into uh, the one that will be able to ship sensors globally that's in Southeast Asia. That's also helpful because now people know for our non-China business, it's not necessary that they can only pick it up from my China factories. That's further helpful. On top of that, we also need to make sure we're compliant with regulations globally, which is not, not an easy thing to do considering we have to be very, very transparent on, on data security, on privacy, on many levels to make sure our products are fully compliant globally. And that's also important to the customers we have globally. You mentioned about pricing and absorbing some of the costs, passing on some of it. Are you eating some of the costs? How much are you passing on to uh, the OEMs or to customers? So first of all, it's not that, that clear. Uh, oh, you pay that part and I will cover my part because in the end, with the new tariff and all the dynamic in the business, we always, always have to come back to the customer, tell them this is my new plan, this is the world it's going to build, this is how we manage, to manage our supply chain. So in the end, it's a negotiation always based on the latest information. So it's difficult to say who paid for it, but in the end, we have to be fair and competitive. Also, which means that if we say no, we're taking no part of this, it's unfair to the customer either. But the customers are also being reasonable, knowing that it's not our fault, it's just money that went into the U.S. government. Allegations of links to the Chinese military, which you guys have denied, and your appeal did not was not successful. Mm -hmm. Has that impacted business? It is. First of all, it's still in the appealing process. And what I would like to point out is the facts. That's put aside the, the opinions. Let's look at the facts. Even um, the determination by the judge, the Department, uh, uh, Department of Justice, came out and said, look, we look at the hard facts. There is no direct evidence that Hassai was actually involved in this. They, of course, they gave other arguments on why this decision was not solely based on the direct evidence. But I'd like to point out the fact that we have been extremely transparent and consistent with that. And then we've been proving this is the case. Of course, having said that, do we benefit from being on the list? Of course not. Technically, we shouldn't have any loss because it's only preventing us from doing business with the Pentagon, which we've never done. But the real implication is that it's reputation because we're being blamed for something we've never done. That's why we continue to appeal. That's why a lot of customers obviously also don't like the fact that we're on the list, but they're supportive for us to continue to appeal uh, to get the fa fair trial we deserve.